Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Reign of Kings. This is a open world, sandboxy style game. Survival, you know, as I've been saying recently, you get the drill. We're doing a number of these, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so some of you have probably been seeing this game, seeing people play this game, it's been talked about, and I have been interested in this for a bit. I sent a message to the developer, told them I was interested in bringing this to my channel and that you guys might appreciate seeing it. Um, some of you had actually been talking about it, asking me to play it, and they were kind enough to send along some keys for me. So, here we are. I have actually been running around a little bit. You'll have to excuse the very little amount of clothing we seem to wear when you start. But um, I have been around gathering a couple things. You can see I've got some items over here. I have yet to craft anything yet though, so it is still very early for me. There's much much to do. Now I am playing on the server of a guy by the name of Wiley Coyote. For those of you who watched the Life is Feudal videos that I've done, I was playing on his server and this is his server so he's got yet another server going, different game now. And I thought this would be a cool place to jump in and just kind of explore the game, see what's going on. Now I don't know a ton about this game, this being kind of my first exploration into it other than having gathered the items that I just showed you. Uh, but I haven't made anything. Um, I've watched some videos, so I've got the basic idea. And so anyway, that's what we're here for. We're here to check this game out, see what it's all about. One of the things that really intrigued me was the building in the game, watching other people build castles and cabins and things like that looked like a lot of fun. So anyway, that's what I want to do. I want to build a structure. The goal of this kind of what will end up being probably a mini series, I'm thinking this will be like a couple episodes, two or three episodes or something. The main goal is just to kind of get established. I want to get a campfire and maybe make some kind of structure to live in. Maybe that takes me three or four episodes, I don't really know. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So one of the things about this game, let's see, I'm kind of like trying to figure out where I want to go. I want to, I'm looking for this particular uh, plant. I'm looking for flax. I'm going to start moving in here. So one of the key things about this game is that there is a king and the king can be uh, can change hands <laughs> violently. You can actually claim to be the king yourself by fighting and or killing whoever's the current king. I'm not exactly sure of that process yet. But if I hit inventory, you'll see that up here, the current king is King Tiny. And when you are the king, you actually get to set attacks. So right now it's at 5%. And so what'll happen is if I go over here to chop a tree, you'll see that every hit down in the bottom right, three wood, five wood, seven wood, if I go ahead and keep chopping, there you go, you can see a tax gets taken out, minus one. So as the king, you get to set what that tax is. So that's one of the benefits, and that goes immediately into a number of chests that you kind of start with, um, up where the king is located. So it's kind of a cool feature of this game. Now, whoa, don't make me fight yet. I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're gonna have our first fight, I guess. We'll see how poorly this goes. He's definitely following me, though. Yeah, he's like swinging at me. Okay, that's it. Oh. Now, I can I can hold right click and try to block. Oh, is that my blood or yours? <laughs> Alright, let's just beat him down. And I think I can like scroll wheel and do a special attack here. Let's try and do that. Oh. <laughs> Right away, <laughs> right off the bat we die. Okay, so well, that is the nature of this game, right? We're gonna we're gonna face threats. We're gonna have to fend them off. It does appear as though I lost the items that were on me. I'm assuming they just fall to the ground somewhere. I don't know if you can pick those back up or not, but I don't quite recall where I was. <laughs> I think you pretty much startle all along this beach, and so maybe if I see some kind of familiar territory but this all kind of looks the same I don't remember a road I might have been over in this direction but I don't think it's too big a deal it didn't take long for me to collect what I had collected I just spent maybe 10 minutes gathering things so I think we'll keep going in fact it looks like we have I think this is flax if I recall correctly yes indeed and we definitely want flax so I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering items here and we are gonna have to chop some more wood so basically we want to we want to just get established. We want to get a campfire going. We want to get a, sh a shelter built. Uh, for those of you wondering, you can build things like doors and you can make chests and everything. And those basically are locked, but uh, people can make lock picks and get into your doors or get into your chests and take those things. 
There are some things you can make, um, like, I forgot exactly what they're called. I remember seeing the video. They were saying there was chests you could make and doors you could make that were unpickable, quote-unquote. But they could be destroyed. So if you had a, um, I think it was a powder keg or something, or an explosive keg, something like that, you could blow up. Uh, doors and gates and things like that. So that's how you would kind of get past those, but that would take some more time. Gonna protect your things a little bit better. Now this game gets described often as a mix of chivalry and rust, a combination of the two. I was watching Splattercat Gaming's video. He was uh, throwing around uh, Mountain Blade as a game he was describing, and I think he even mentioned Life is Feudal as being um, somewhat similar. So. Anyway, if, if that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here, <laughs> I hope that does. I haven't played a few of those. I never played Rust. I did play Life is Feudal. Um, really enjoyed that. I did a number of videos for that. Had quite a bit of fun. This is definitely the kind of game, you know, Life is Feudal, uh, this game. These kinds of games I think um, I would be really into. And if you'd gone back in time, before my YouTube days, back in the day, <laughs> they would have been certainly the games that I would have just been completely hooked in and never left. But uh, as it is, I'm trying to play a lot of different games. I really enjoy trying out a lot of different games, so I don't really have time to live in these games that kind of require you to spend a good chunk of time in them. But I did want to get in here. I did want to get started um, and just kind of see how it goes. So. Let's see, what do we have? Let's get our inventory really quick. So if we click on these guys, you can see this is some of the stuff that we can craft right now. Um, and I click on, let's say, the legs. You can see that we're just short on flax down here. I need five more. And I really want to get that because I have yet to craft even one item. So let's see. I think we found some over here. So I'm just going to kind of sprint up this hill. So we've got meters down on the right. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how they work. I believe the green one is a stamina of sorts, although when I sprint, it doesn't seem to move. Um, and then we have hydration and food below that. And you'll see them flash as we do things, so they're kind of going down. But I don't know what it takes to lower the stamina. I wasn't watching when I was chopping a tree. Let's do that really quick. Let's see if that moves. I don't really see it moving. That's one of the things I could do is I can ask here uh, on the server. There's there's some people playing right now. Very friendly people willing to help answer some questions, uh, including Wiley himself is on here. But what I want to do is just kind of uh, get started first before I kind of dive into asking them a ton of questions. See if we can just kind of figure things out on our own. So I'm going to look down the hill here. I'm not seeing any more flax, that kind of really thick, thicker white plant. Um, Let's see, I love the terrain in this. Very cool looking. It's a very pretty game. Um, got this like high vantage point. I don't see anything. Got some nice chunk of rocks here. I think we might kind of climb over the other side of this. Uh, kind of up, up on this uh, upper point up here and see what our view reveals as far as resources go. Definitely going to keep my eye out for wolves and try to stay stay away from them, at least until we get maybe some kind of other weapon or maybe can get some armor on us. I don't know how much I hurt the wolf. In fact, I didn't even notice there was a meat or anything. I was so focused on making sure that my aim was there and I was actually hitting him and not missing that I wasn't looking for anything else. So I don't see flax, but I do see some berries up here. So we will head over and grab those. It's a very cool spot here. Very cool. I definitely want to do some exploring. I passed something. I don't know if it was anything I didn't already have. I think it's sticks. Okay, a couple more sticks. We just want... We just want flax. <laughs> Give us your flax. Okay. Now, as far as I know, this stuff respawns. Like, we just took the berries off of that plant, but the plant stays there. So my assumption is that it eventually regrows the uh, berries there. So if you stood there long enough, you could grab them again. Okay, let's cruise over here. We kind I kind of want another vantage point. Take a peek around and see if I can spot any flax. Uh, let's see. I got some higher points over there, but I think I also want to kind of continue inward because I've heard that, um, or I seem to recall in the video, uh, he was saying that, oh, look at that. Got a moose over there in the distance. But it was said that the resources get better the farther into the... Um, island you go. Now there's all kinds of materials and there's a lot of stuff to make. Um, I, I don't know how many but in the videos I watched there was just a ton of stuff and we're talking uh, destructive uh, 
weapons like trebuchets, uh, ballistas to take down walls and things like that too. Because that's a big part of the game is working together, building uh, clans or building guilds. I actually, I think they're guilds. And, uh, you know, being able to stick together and go against each other and take out each other's castles or forts or whatever they've built. Let's go and scoop this. That would be one of the differences between this game and Life is Feudal. In this game, you actually build, kind of with blocks, you build up the walls and the structures that you want to make. It's not... It's not pre-built buildings. There are pre-built things like workbenches and chests and things of that nature, but not the walls or the structures. Those you actually build yourself. So let's go ahead and cruise up here. We got a cool looking lake. Passing up some sticks, I know. So up in the distance, you can see that there is, it looks like a knight with his arm sticking out. And uh, whoa, is that a town over there? Check that out. Oh, that's the, Right, I gotta tell you guys about that. Very cool thing, but uh, let's start with the uh, the giant knight in the background. So at the very top, his helmet is actually like a fortress. And that's where the king elements are. That's where the throne is and the sword. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the crown. So anyway, that's where you would go. That's a wolf over there. That's where you would go if you want to get uh, those things, if you want to try to become the king. Now, down below that is a town, right? You see this big town. That is not player made. That's actually a... Very evil, creepy town full of creatures. And the idea there is that, I guess it's a plague-ridden town, and and you can go in there and fight these uh, NPCs. They're just monsters, essentially. And if you kill them, you actually get um, some pretty good loot. They said you can get you know weapons and tools and things like that. I am having no luck with the flax, though. All this running around, I'm not finding the flax I want. So, oh, there's more when I do that. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look around, try to avoid the wolf, but I'm gonna look around for some more flax and uh, we'll see if I can find any before the sun goes down. Okay, I'm hot on the trail of a rabbit. <laughs> keep an eye out for flax for me. We're gonna see if we can hit this guy. Ugh. Take it, no. <laughs> Slow down. Now the cool thing is when you actually hit animals in this game, they actually uh, get hurt and slow down. It's very cool. Very cool feature. I have not done this yet. Oh, we just found flax though. I do want this rabbit though. If I can catch up to him. Eh, we'll let him go because we got flax over here. Uh, there it is. Cool. Just before the sun comes up, we're going to get some of this. So let's see. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a quick look at the crafting we can do and see if we can find. Let's see. There is. Oh, look at that. We can easily make the fire pit. Let's go ahead and craft that right now. You can see that's got... It's going to take it a minute. And from the videos I've seen, that will actually continue crafting while you uh, are on the move. So, uh, let's see. Is that more flax over here? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some more flax. I'm going to find a spot to put the fire down, and we will continue from there. Okay, I think I found a safe enough place for now. There's probably nowhere safe, really, but... Uh, kind of tucked between some rocks here and overlooking the lake and keeping the uh, evil town on the other side of this hill. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring our inventory up. And again, this is not something I've done before. So um, my assumption is I'm going to drag this into a item slot here or the quick slot. There we go. It's red. And then I'm assuming just left click. Okay. And it drops it down. Sweet. Now let's see, we want to open it. So E and then we have to fuel it. So I think we just can drop some wood in here. I don't know if we can, can we split this stack? Uh, right click, there we go. So there's two. I'm going to go ahead and stick two together and see what that does. Okay, very cool. So it's lit. I don't see an indicator of time other than this red meter I'm assuming will go down. At this rate it's going very slow. Night time, as far as I know, I didn't read this or anything, but I, in one of the videos, um, Splattercat Gaming mentioned that the time he timed it, it was 10 minute nights, 10 minute days. I don't know if you can change that on the server that you've set up or not. So that could be different, but I'm assuming it's just probably defaults, even if you could change it. They probably didn't tweak that. But uh, anyway, we now have the fire going. The lighting is pretty cool here. Got a nice little tucked away spot. So I think we're going to hang here. I'll probably just gather resources that are immediately near me. I'm going to try not to let my shadow scare me <laughs> whenever I spin around like this. <laughs> but uh, anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and gather some materials that are near here. We'll wait till the light comes back up. The light comes back up? You know what I meant. The digital sun and <laughs> this thing. Once that comes back up, we will uh, 
we'll kind of set out again and look for more materials. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, I would appreciate that. It lets me know that I should continue to bring more. Uh, so far, so good. I'm really liking what I'm seeing right now, so we have much more to do. I hope you guys come back. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.